How do I create a QR code for my food? How do I create a QR code for my packaging? So if you're looking to use a marketing tool like a QR code and you're not sure exactly how to create one or what they can really do and how they can benefit your food product, stay tuned to this video because I'm gonna show you a tool online that you can use absolutely free, by the way, and it's gonna show you what you could do with a QR code. We're gonna get into those tips right now. All right, so how do I create a QR code for my food? So this is a great question, and this is one that is a marketing tool that can be used by anyone, anywhere, and can help you drive more sales for your product without you having to go out and find the customer and show a big advertising in their... <clears throat> how do I create a QR code for my food? So these are some great questions, and I'm gonna show you a great tool. I'm gonna get on my laptop in just a moment, but I'm gonna give you a few tips and pointers as to how a QR code on your food product, on your food packaging, and no matter what the food product is, can actually help drive sales once you've sold the product. So QR codes are obviously not something that's brand new. They have been around for quite some time now, but they are a marketing tool and they can help market and promote your online business in a big, big way. So if you're selling packaged food products, individual units of food items on Amazon, if you're selling online through your own website, through Shopify or GoDaddy or whoever it may be, QR codes are the little tiny square, odd looking black and white, look like barcodes almost, a little object on the packaging that actually relays a lot of information about your product, your business, or anything you wanted to say. And you can actually specifically specify what that information is on the QR code to help drive sales. So I'm gonna run down really quick a few things that you can actually do with a QR code and then I'm gonna go over to my laptop and I'm gonna show you a website where you can create one and actually how to create it and what information you can literally put on the QR code. So number one, QR codes for food products can actually show nutritional information. Yes, believe it or not, they could be scanned and instantly take the consumer or the customer directly over to a page that shows the nutritional information for the food product that they're buying. Now, the FDA does require that obviously every single item that's prepared with food that has to have a nutritional analysis on the packaging, but you can dig a little bit deeper and have additional information about the nutritional analysis and other any nutritional facts through the QR code. Secondly, the QR code packaging is great for traceability. What does that mean, Damien? Well, if there's any particular types of, let's just say fruits or vegetables, if people wanted to know where exactly they come from or what is the supply chain like and what is the traceability of the product, that information can actually be put directly onto the QR code. And once it's scanned, the customer or the consumer can read that item. So if you happen to be a local produce uh, farmer, if you happen to be a farmer and you go to farmer's markets or you go to local affairs or events and you're selling your fresh produce and vegetables, but you wanna give them more backstory or more information about where it really comes from and how you grow it, QR codes are a great source and way to market that information directly to your consumer. QR codes for food packaging also drive social media. Yes, you can actually specifically send them to a Facebook page. You can send them to a Twitter account. You can send them to any social media page that you like when you're creating the QR code. Well, why would I do that, Damien? What does that really do? Well, it drives people to traffic towards your website, drives people to traffic to your social media page. It drives traffic, period. And if you get more traffic and eyes on your product, there's a very good likelihood you're gonna sell more of it, or they may recommend that to their friends or family, or even the social media page itself could get recommended to somebody else. All of that literally can be put on a QR code. Next up, QR codes for food packaging also can help share contact information. You can literally accumulate emails. You can send someone to a landing page directly on your website for them to sign up for the email discount program or email information. And you can accumulate those emails. And then that email list that you drove from the QR code can be used to market and send out even more discounts and more sales and more specials and more information. So driving people from the product literally to scan them and bring them over to an email signup is genius. Next up, QR codes for your food packaging can also create a great way to get food reviews for your product or even just people to say, hey, 
I have a page set up on the website and it's where you can send a review of your product. If you love my candy, if you love my baked goods, or if you love my produce, please let us know. Give us some feedback, let us know. So QR codes can send people to a page where you can accumulate that information, which again, more information on that specific page only drives more sales because seeing other people obviously give feedback or great reviews, I would buy a product if it obviously had more reviews on the website page or on the website itself. And you can actually send them directly to the product. So for instance, if you were at a farmer's market, let's say if you're a local seller, forget the retail and online for a moment. If you're at a farmer's market and you're trying to develop a business, you have a home-based food business and you're trying to drive more traffic, you're trying to evolve, you're trying to grow, you can literally send people to a page on your website for that particular product. If you were selling blueberry muffins and they're gigantic oversized muffins, sending them directly to the page where it is to have them fill out a review, that would only help you down the road as your e-commerce business develops. You can have all of those reviews from all the farmer's markets that you went to or all the local events. That's the way you can scale the marketing aspect of your food business. Now, next up, the QR code on the packaging can also display new products that you have coming out or an entire catalog of food products that you're already selling. So the QR code would have a link directly over to a page that may be a page on your website that says, hey, these are all of our new products that are coming out. If you're a bakery, candy maker, if you have a hot sauce line, it doesn't matter what it is, you're selling spices, you have four new spices coming out the next few months, send them to that page. If they bought it at the store, they bought it online, the QR code can be scanned, and then from there, that link takes them over to your new products or an entire catalog of items. Again, driving sales. Why? Because if a person spends their money on the product they've just bought, there's a good likelihood, obviously, they're going to like it because they just paid for it, right? Right. So if you have new products coming out and they love the one they just paid $10 for, they're gonna spend another $50 next month because you have new products. How do they know about that? Because of the QR code. Next up, QR codes for food packaging can also, and finally, be used for creating recipe ideas. Wow, what does that mean? If you create sauces, you have a hot sauce line, if you have a line of spices, if you have a line of herbs or seeds or something like that, well, people buy them, but then they're trying to think to themselves, well, how many different things can I do? Instead of sending them over to Pinterest or losing them to a Google search, have them scan the QR code and take them directly to a page on your website with an entire list of recipes on how to use the spice they just bought from you right? Fantastic. So once you do that too, you're also getting just general traffic. You're getting organic traffic to your website. Once they're on your website and they see your recipes, they're going to probably click around a little bit. And if they like that spice they just bought, they're going to order five or six more because you have an entire line of spices. So the value of a QR code goes really far. And the fact that you can create them for free online with the resource I'm about to show you is all the more reason why you need to make sure you do this. This is a marketing tool that is so simple to use and so easy, it's not rocket science, guys. It's a very simple step-by-step. -step. I'm gonna show you how this works. Now, if you're with me so far in the video, please do give me a big thumbs up. We always appreciate the positive feedback. And of course, you are letting YouTube know that you love our content, so they will continue to send it to other people as well. We appreciate the help and the, back and the support as well. So if you're not subscribed too, definitely hit the subscribe button and of course, the bell notification because we upload a ton of videos. Now, let's get to this program. Okay, so we are back over in my office and I'm actually pulling up my laptop as I mentioned and we are going to get right to it. So I've already told you how many different ways you can use this QR code to help you sell more of the food products that you're making, coffee, hot sauces, barbecue sauce, it doesn't matter what it is. So let's dive into it. Let's take a look at this website. Now, I'm gonna actually put the link for this, by the way, guys, is down below the video to send you directly to the page I'm looking at here. So there's no need for you to spend a year and a half looking for the thing that I've actually already posted, okay? All right, fantastic. So we are on Shopify tools. Shopify, by the way, has just an enormous amount of free resources and tools to help you run an e-commerce business. I love Shopify. Um, okay, Shopify free QR code generator. So how does this work? You basically fill out the fields below to get started, okay? So number one, what are you gonna need to do? There's only three steps, super simple. Email, so I went ahead, I'm just gonna use Marketing Food Online, I'm gonna use our email for that website to make it simple. I'm not gonna use my candy website because it's really involved and in, in intricate and all that. So Marketing Food Online at Yahoo, you put the email in. The email is there for the purpose of them sending you the, the actual image of the uh, QR code, okay? Next up, select data type. Now the only two data types that I use Website URL 
or plain text. Now, what's the difference? Why can't I use a phone SMS? Uh, the messaging, text messaging, and the phone thing is not something I really have, have experimented with before. Um, it doesn't give us a huge return. It's not really drives a lot of traffic. So I'm going to stick with the website URL and the plain text. So I'm, let me show you first, website. Now, how can I use this, Damien? Okay, so we're going to go over to our website, Marketing Food Online. And I'm going to use a specific page on our website where I want people to go to when they scan the QR code. Now, I'm not sure if you know, but we have a lot of online courses for food entrepreneurs on marketingfoodonline.com. Um, a lot of, of social media courses, food entrepreneur um, startup courses, classes on learning how to grow online, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. And that's a whole nother video I'll do a review about later. But I highlighted the top portion here, right? So I'm going to clock, click it and right click to copy this. Then I'm going to go over and that's going to be the content website, right? Website URL. That's going to be the page where I want people to go. Okay. And again, you could create a specific page on your website that will have customers or, cust or people, consumers drive driven over to that page. Whatever it may be, if you've got a brand new product, like I mentioned, you want to introduce something, maybe it's a discount code, but they want, you want to drive traffic to the website, do that. So this will drive people directly over to my courses because I want to sell courses. Okay. Just to be honest with you. So all of these are different courses and then they can purchase what they want. Now you create the QR code. Now, hold on a second. Now this will pop up. Okay. You do not necessarily need to fill this out at all because what I'm going to do is take you over to our email in a second. And I'm going to show you what that looks like because right now it's actually creating the QR code, but you can simply X this out and you're good to go. Okay. That is there only if you want to literally start a brand new website with Shopify, Hey, feel free to do that. But that's not what this video is about. It's about a QR code. So let's take a look at our email. All right. Fantastic. It's already there. It's right there. So you're all set. Your QR code is ready. So you will get an email confirmation that it's ready to go. So here is the image. Now it's a PNG image. So this is literally what it looks like. Now, what do I do with that, Damien? How do I, well, you're going to download that. You're going to download that on your computer. And then when you print your label for your food product, or if you're having custom packaging made, you're going to send that PNG over to your printer, or you're going to add that yourself to your own label and simply just print it up on your printer and then put it on your product. It's a tiny little square. When you're creating the label itself, when you add this onto it, you can adjust it and make it as big as you want or as small as you want, as long as it's completely on there. Every little speck, every little dot, everything has to be there because that relays the information. So if somebody scans this literally on their phone, they're going to be taken over to the page I just showed you. How cool is that? Free, done, very simple. So if you have any more questions about QR codes and how it can actually drive sales for your food business, actually for any business, any, any product any, at all, to be honest with you, but we specialize here on food entrepreneurship, of course. Let me know down below if you have any questions. And if you liked it again, please give me a big thumbs up. Appreciate you guys taking the time and we will see you on our next video.